A shadow his father makes with joined hands and thumbs and fingers nibbles on the wall like a rabbit's head. I think what made Seamus so popular was, first of all, obviously because he was a great poet, but he was more than that, he was just a great man, he was just a, a gentleman. Well, the Irish Writers' Centre um, is a not-for-profit organisation and we have charitable status. And so, like many other arts organisations, we're not really very well funded. So, we needed to fundraise. It was suggested to me, just over a cup of coffee, um, what about um, a link-up between literature and jewellery? And I thought, well, that's, an, that's a novel idea. And so, I was introduced to the jewellery designer, Alan Ardiff, and we had a number of meetings and he was very interested in the idea of that coming together of his particular design and craft and literature. The Seamus Healy pen came about and um, Jack Gilligan came up with the idea to make a piece of jewellery that would, could work with um, Seamus Healy poetry. I, know, I, mean, I was delighted to, to be involved in, in something like that because like, I think you know, I work as a silversmith, and Seamus Heaney is a wordsmith, so I thought that that's a, a nice kind of combination. We, we looked at different poems of Seamus's, and Alphabets was one that sort of was, there was quite visual imagery in it, you know, with the countryside, the idea that the, the letters of the alphabet were, were trees. The letters of this alphabet were trees. The capitals were orchards in full bloom. The lines of script like briars coiled in hedges. Actually, the imagery that in James's um, poems or something, yeah, I can relate to that in my work because it's it's a very you know, sort of like I guess in, 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 I live in the west of Ireland and there's the I use imagery from the west of Ireland in my work. Well, that's just there's, there's, there's humour in my work as well. So um, I thought that it's a good fit. And in, in the background, there's kind of like a um, stars and a moon. So as you were the piece in the journey head, those kind of stars will kind of spin around, and the moon will kind of pass by the trees. And it's, again, it's probably passing the time. And the letters are revealed at the base, so you don't see the whole line. It's kind of revealed nearly by letter by letter. You know, so that kind of relates to the alphabet. There's a limited edition of, of, of 99. 99 is, is, is correct, it's, it's, it's an edition size. Obviously we had to get Shane Sini's cooperation um, and I suppose really we did and he did it totally generously um, and immediately and he, he loved the piece and his wife Mary loved the piece and he, he was very happy to be associated with it. I'd never met James, um, but um, we went out to his house with Jack, Jack Gilgan, and I mean, that was a, obviously an honour to, for to, to meet a, a great poet. I was very nervous presenting the piece and thinking, well, how's he going to relate to it? But he, he was fascinated by the movement and he kind of got it, because yeah, he sort of got, got the the smile, you know, so that was like and the nod of approval. So that was, you know, for me that was a, you know, it was a great honour, you know, like, I mean, was, you don't know how something would be received when you've, you know, basically interpret, interpreting someone's work in, in a different language, you know, so there is a bit of a translation, so hopefully in what I did, that translation wasn't lost. It was sort of a, a good interpretation of, of this poem. Or like my own white pre-reflective stare, all agog at the plasterer on his ladder, skimming our gable and writing our name there with his trowel point, letter by strange letter. <laughs>